Hey guys, it's Sophia, Blue Top Legend Captain and Yacht Broker. Today we're at a 2000 Boston Whaler 260 Outrage. This boat is so beautiful. This is one of my favorite models, the 260 Outrage. It has a white hull color, a black powder coating, and a black rubber rail. Paired with twin 2016 Mercury Verado 250s with only 220 hours on them. These engines are perfect. Stainless steel props, cruise speeds of 25 miles an hour, and top speeds of around 55 miles an hour, almost 60 depending on fuel fill. You've got plenty of room for fishing in the aft. Beautiful helm seating with bi-level molded console footrests and seating at the helm that can comfortably fit two people. With the captain seat and the stationary companion seat, there's a well-equipped leaning post with ample storage for tackle. And the cooler fits right under the leaning post. There's a beautiful spacious open bow with additional seating and a nice big and comfortable seat in front of the center console. There is an aft bench which sews away, so easily take it out, lounge, or put it away and continue your fishing. Simply lift the backrest up and fold the aft bench away to reveal a nice fiberglass finish. There's a wraparound bow with individual storage compartments at the port and the starboard. You've got combing bolsters all the way around the boat that integrates right into the backrest. You have 11 total rod holders, two on each side, beautiful, and four rocket style up at the T-top. Under gunnel rod racks, two on each side, and three rod holders back along the transom along with your waist and water. And there's also a nice bait prep area. All around the boat you have six stainless steel cleats, two at the bow, two at the spring line, and two back at the stern. There's non-skid at the bow for a raised fishing platform, and a live well in the aft on the port side, as well as two huge built-in insulated fish boxes with drains and macerators, one on each side. You've got a 200 gallon fuel fill, plenty to go adventure, track down to the Bahamas while you're at it. There's a canvas tea top. My favorite part is this dash. It's laid out beautifully. The helm accommodates two Garmin electronics, which are 2016, with a chart plotter, GPS, and fish finder. There's a compass, mercury vessel view, your windless anchor control, and a locked glove compartment. You have an electrical horn, a digital throttle, and shift, as well as rocket switches for the live well freshwater washdown and raw water washdown. There's stainless steel console grab rails for any time in the rough seas. You have a dash visor with a molded tempered glass windshield. And you do have a box up here as well that is lockable for personal items and just dry storage. In the center console, you've got your head. And back at the stern, you have your battery controls, your on and off switches. There's an instrumentation and electrical switch panel with circuit breaker protection. The center console is a great spot for storage, anything that you don't want to get wet. With Boston Whaler, due to the pressurized foam fill, basically any of the floor compartments double as a cooler. Brunswick does own Boston Whaler and Mercury, so the boat is vertically integrated, meaning that both the boat itself and the engine come from one source. So if you ever have any problems, simply go to Brunswick and they can handle everything. This boat has been impeccably maintained. Boston Whaler is recognized for their legendary craftsmanship and unsinkable hull. So yes, you can cut a Boston Whaler in two and drive away in the half with the engine, but unsinkability means more than just the safety of the single hull design. Boston Whaler has a smart design, high quality construction, and a forward thinking technology. So you get premium experiences and comfort while you're also staying safe on the water. You can go out in the shallows or in the roughest seas without worrying about a thing, as long as you're in a whaler. So that's it for the tour of our 2000 Boston Whaler 260 Outrage. I hope you guys love this boat. If you're interested, be sure to email me, sophia at cloudyachts.io. I'll see you guys next time.